Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the driver IRQL not less or equal USB HXCL.SYS blue screen error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So typically this error message may be associated with a faulty USB device. It certainly, you know, as the name implies. So I'd recommend starting off by opening up the search menu, type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to expand the universal serial bus controller section. And then you want to go through all of the USB devices in here that have USB in the name of them. Right click on them and then you want to update driver and then select browse my computer for drivers and let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the compatible driver that's available on the list here, and then select Next. And like I said, I recommend going through and doing that for all of the devices in here. Again, you could do them the exact same way you did for the first one. And that could take a few minutes, and you just would go through them all, update them, and then restart your computer. And see that resolves the problem. Something else we can try here as well, if you close out of here, open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. Now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one's going to be the system file checker utility. Go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and then paste it in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient. Okay, once that one is finished, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video and go ahead and run that one as well. And once that one is done running, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to go restart your computer. And there you go. So hopefully I was able to help resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a positive to help me out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.